Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be a little bit differently than what I normally do because today's kind of more of a vlog style video except I did it on my iPhone. So I don't really know how the quality is gonna turn out, but I want to tell you about my experience. So. For today, I actually want to talk about my experience at the Morphe store opening in Tampa. So currently, I do live in Orlando, Florida, and they are opening up a Morphe in Orlando in the spring of 2019. However, they just opened up their, their Morphe store in Tampa, and Jacqueline Hill was actually there to do the opening, along with Lipstick Nix and Jesus, I believe. Anyways, it was such an amazing experience. I am not going to lie to you. I am tired as fuck. Sorry for cursing, but I am so tired. Like literally, I have been up since 4 a.m. just to sit here and drive down to Tampa, which is about like an hour away, wait in line just to go shop at Morphe as well as see Jacqueline Hill cutting the ribbon and just meeting her for 2.5 seconds. Like literally, it was all it was, 2.5 seconds, but it was such an amazing experience. So I figured for today, I would just talk about my experience. Sorry if my voice is a little tired or I look a little tired. Like honestly, I haven't even touched my makeup since 4 a.m. Like I am so tired and I don't even feel like touching my makeup for this video. But I want to make sure I got this out there to tell you guys what it was like going to the Morphe store opening, how chaotic it was, and honestly, what it was like meeting, meeting Jacqueline Hill. Alright guys, so for the Morphe store opening, I actually met up with three of my other girlfriends and they are going to be featured in this video and I drove down to their house, got there around 5 a.m. Literally we were like so freaking tired, we got coffee, we drove down to Tampa. Now, I don't know if anyone who watches this is from Orlando, but getting on I-4 to Tampa is usually like very heavily trafficked on our I-4, it's like usually always backed up, but today it was just easy straight shot we got there no problem we get to the morphe store at the tampa mall and we walked inside and it was pretty empty up until we walked to the very back of the store where morphe was located at that point it looked like black friday i mean lines started from the very front of the store way past the staircase and they segregated it off to a different section way back there and i was like holy crap like this is a lot of people like this is so many people and I was like, oh, we should have gotten here earlier because I didn't know if everybody was there just to meet Jacqueline Hill or if they were just go, they were just there just to go into the Morphe store opening. I honestly wasn't sure, but I was like, oh, this is a lot of people. Ugh. So we got in line, but um, the Morphe store employees they came out, they came out to our line, and they introduced themselves to us, and they're very sweet girls. And they also let us know that there was going to be 25% off holiday sale as well as little scratch-offs. Now these scratch-offs either had like 25% off every individual item, 20% off your store purchase, free lashes, like you name it, they have really cool stuff. So we were probably in line for about an hour waiting to get into the Morphe store. So by the time we actually walked in there, it was around like nine o'clock. Now Jacqueline Hill wasn't supposed to come over until 10.30 to the ribbon cutting. So we're kind of like, oh, should we like hang out in the store to see if we see her? We weren't entirely sure what we should do, but we went inside and we're like, let's just go shopping. And when I scratched off my, my coupon, I got a, uh, this, well this is upside down. When I scratched off my coupon, I got a 25% off your purchase. Now I thought it was off your purchase. No, it was 25% off Morphe products. So, so anything Morphe was 25% off. I was like, yo, y'all be saving me some bucks. And if you spent over $75, you got a free tote bag along with three full size products with your purchase. So I was like, okay, all right. We took a couple of pictures in the store because they did have a huge ring light available for me to take pictures and I was like, yo, like, this is the shit because your photos turned out like unbelievably gorgeous. Like I thought my ring light for filming was phenomenal but when I saw that ring light, I was like, yo, how much is that because I gotta buy that just to have it for selfies because it was so freaking cool. 
what we tried to do, we took forever shopping around because we wanted to see if we could hang out there to see Jacqueline. But what they did, they did, I'm telling everybody, is that we gotta kick everybody out because, you know, they wanted to have the store empty for Jacqueline Hill to come in. They didn't want everybody mobbing her. So they did kick everybody out. And I, um, waited just outside the store. However, security's like, oh, this is a safety hazard. You can't stand here. And I was like, all right, so I moved over to like this little play area right next to the store, and then they let everybody stand there. I was so freaking pissed because they let everybody stand there. I was like, what the hell? You're letting everybody stand there when you just kicked me out of that area saying I'd be kicked out of the freaking mall if I didn't move, yet everybody got to stand there. So I was pretty peeved about that, but I did stand in this play area. I stood on the stairs, and there's this really cool guy named Painkiller Camera next to me, and he painted this gorgeous painting of Jaclyn Hill and he had it up and I was like yo this is the shit like I want to sit next to you because this painting is phenomenal and I want a painting just like that so Cam seriously I'm gonna have you paint myself like paint me because I'm just a little bit of a narcissistic I guess when it comes to that but it was freaking gorgeous I loved it and we stood there for about an hour um, waiting for her to come out and when she came out it was like chaotic everybody's screaming Jaclyn 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 <laughs> Her boyfriend came out, Lipstick Nix and Jesus came out. She came out, she did a sweet little opening where she cut the ribbon and she like had tears in her eyes and she was so happy to see all the fans to open the store. She talked about how she literally worked at the Max store that was right across the street or right across the area. That's where she used to work when she first started six years ago and now here she is opening a Pro Morphe store. So it was actually really cool and then she didn't stay for any meet and greets so I was kind of disappointed about it because I truly thought that she would stay for meet and greets because seeing as how this is her hometown I thought like she'd actually do meet and greets, but she didn't. I was really disappointed about in that. And you could tell a lot of fans were like really disappointed as well because they really wanted to meet Jacqueline. Like everybody there was to meet Jacqueline. When she was done doing the cutting, she did kind of walk down the main aisle and like was taking pictures, hugging people, like saying hi, how are you? <laughs> So I did get a like a little like 2.5 seconds meet and greet with her where I stood right next to her and she like actually met Painkiller Cam and took the, the painting that he took and hugged him and thanked him and I was sitting right there y'all going like selfie selfie selfie. Who are you? It's Katie. This, you? Is this, this is for you. This is yes, it's for you. I was like, yo, I'm with her for like 2.5 seconds. And her boyfriend was there, and actually, he was really sweet. He said hi to me, and he's like, I'll take that painting. Like, you guys did such a phenomenal job. I was like, it wasn't even my painting, it's his painting. Like, make sure you give him the credit. And he was really cool. Lipstick Nick was really cool. She's saying hi, like, she's talking to us. And then Jack ended up leaving, and then they like let everybody else back in to sort of go shopping. And that was pretty much the entire experience. It's actually really cool. And as tired as I am, because I'm really only running on like four hours of sleep, it was. It was a great experience. I had such a blast doing a Morphe store opening and I cannot wait to see what they're doing in Orlando when they open up one in April. I believe it's April or sometime in spring. I'm not gonna lie, I probably will apply for that job because I love to just even like work at Morphe and, cause I used to work at Ulta for like a year and a half I worked at Ulta and I, and I had such a great experience working at Ulta. So I'd love to work at Morphe and like see how their company works, see what type of discounts you get. Cause I mean, God knows I'm obsessed with makeup. So it was, it was like Black Friday for Jaclyn Hill, and it was so much fun. So I'm really glad I got to experience that. So this is like my like little video. Sorry, it's not normally what I usually do with makeup products and trying out things. I just want to talk about my experience and what it was like and how cool it was because it was like legit. It was a really cool experience, and I had so much fun. And Jaclyn, I only met you for 2.5 seconds, and the whole time I met you, I thought about Robbie and Chrissy meeting you, and she was like, bitch. I'm not going to lie. Bitch, your skin was flawless. It was beautiful. You were fun, like absolutely stunning in person. Like your skin, I swear to God, was like porcelain. There was like no flaws whatsoever. And 
Jacqueline, you are perfection. And it was amazing meeting you. I had so much fun. So that is it for today's video, guys. I'm sorry this is, like I said, a different video, but I had so much fun doing it. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye, guys.